Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rohan and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And so to pick up where we left off, we are attacking the city of Damascus. And they have a reinforcing army, but I have a feeling that we will destroy them in short order. So let's get to it. We will be on the offensive, so it's possible that some of my men will break and rout uh, before the final victory. But that's okay. That's why we have armies and reinforcement. And we're going to very much need such armies in future, especially once we fight against the likes of Russia, because they are going to be they're going to be some tough cookies, and we're going to want to have lots of armies in support so that we're not because our troops fundamentally can't stand up against proper European line infantry. So we're going to need more of them, lots of them. Nevertheless, ooh, this is a good spot for some artillery right here. Because they also have reinforcements, so we need to be ready to fight a sustained action. So let's create one infantry unit for one side of the guns. When I mean an infantry unit, I just mean a block of musket troops. I suppose I think the strategy for at least the first army is to be defensive and respond to their mo movements. Then once we're more content that that first army has been defeated, we can go a bit more on the offensive. It's got nine pounders. There's mortars are going to be a bit of a frustration. I suppose actually we can't go on the defensive because we are attacking. Already there. Mortars are hitting my formations. What I'm hoping to push up with everyone in general, but this is the side that has the bulk of my skirmish cav. And I am willing to throw away some of my skirmish cavalry to defeat those mortars. But my guns up on the hill, we may be in a position there to provoke them to fire against us. We are absorbing their mortar hits into our skirmish cav. But I'm, I'm content to potentially lose them, to knock out the mortars, because the mortars can be... In AI hands are some of the most dangerous units you can get. Slamming swordsman, bolster the left flank. Looks like they're going to. Okay, let's send one skirmish unit in specifically to go for the guns. Potentially, our right flank may be able to advance. We need to remember not to get caught out by their reinforcements. Yeah, so sustained fire from these enemy units may be enough for us to lose that cavalry. So I might withdraw that unit. It's chiefly the mortars, but I'll take what I can get with the rest. Two units of Janissary Musketeers opposing us but they're giving us a good opportunity here now they've finally charged in with some cavalry of their own but it's also quite weak cavalry here right now their infantry's coming Try pull my cavalry back. Target my gunners against their infantry concentrations. Bring out my camel nomads. No, come on. Because they're being intercepted by Mamelukes, their natural response is to turn and fight. But you need to be quite... 
burn with them to get them out of the combat. Eventually, especially with an Islamic swordsman unit right there to cut them off. Okay, withdraw. Camels, my cavalry has made it. Excellent. The Sekban Janissary is going to get cut down. Let's bring these dervishes across. Guns are pounding those Janissary musketeers. It's the Libyan light cavalry on the flank. They charge them with the camel nomads, follow up with the Islamic swordsmen. My skirmish cavalry can skirmish as they come in. Camel nomads deploy there. So Bashi intercept the Mamelukes on the wide flank. Advance the cavalry. Begin firing at will. Hit them with the camels, follow up with the swordsmen. Send up some of my cavalry to charge the swordsmen in the rear. the unit of skirmish cavalry it would be useful knock them out as well okay now don't charge you men advance Although, to be honest i think this might be an opportunity too good to miss You chaps can stay in reserve. Pull my armies back. There we go. It's really a wavering already. If we can route them, we can do a good amount of damage. My Islamic swordsmen are focus on the Janissaries. You men cease fire. The Nomads routed for no reason. The centre of that line is going to get chewed up by my musketry, so I haven't got to worry about them. You may charge. Kind of defeats the point of having all these melee troops here, but never mind. You men bombard that Janissary Musketeer unit. You men bombard that unit of horsemen. The reinforcements are coming in from way over here, which is perfect. Musketeers are wavering. That's okay though. I might try to pull them out because they've been replaced by my slamming swordsmen and my dervishes. Yeah, this front's done pretty well. Skirmish the Camel Nomads, but may be ready for the idea that we don't, we aren't going to end up attacking them. My human are firing into that combat, which we don't really want. Push forward the other Islamic swordsmen. Withdraw the Camel Nomads. The skirmish cavalry is routing, that's unfortunate. These melee troops are going to be enough to break them, though. 
Then we can pull our troops back and rest and reorg. Get my camels in against that cavalry unit to defeat them. There we go. These camels are recovered. They're, they're sturdy. Send my light cavalry forward to attack these gunners. There we go. Now we're starting to see a bit of a rot set in. Ignore the camels. So attack the artillery, destroy them, and then retreat or withdraw back to our lines. Actually, don't worry about defeating them, just get over here. Send my Islamic swordsman in, because this is coming a bit too much of a knockdown, a drag out fight than I'd like. You fought off charge against Muslim, but you should be. Withdraw, they're going to reload and fire. There we go. Charge a unit of Islamic swordsmen in the rear, because it's this unit of Israeli we've got causing problems. Defeat this last unit of Israeli. Camels engage. Gunners engage the cavalry. You men engage the camel nomads. Excellent bouncing shot there. Did some really good kills. Melee infantry withdraw. Deploy my Hindu musketeers to engage the enemy. Bodyguard. I thought it was my cavalry coming in. Very well, melee infantry, your job isn't done yet. Well, my cavalry to skirmish off this high ground into the Islamic swordsmen. My flanks looking pretty good. Oh, there's a girl. Phew. My other general unit. Camels coming in. Let's shuffle our line backwards a smidge because that would allow this gun team to support the right flank so all of you men bar camels form and recover camels recover skirmishes continuing to whittle down those swordsmen. We're starting to see the enemy reinforcements enter the field now. There we go. Large numbers of not quite as effective troops with their commander in the distance. Or one of their commanders. The other is up on that hill. But they can't actually charge the guns directly because of the impassable terrain. The garrison swordsmen are, may potentially be routed from all of this skirmish fire. Cease fire with your bows. Excellent. All my gunners engage the horsemen. Now I believe... Is the moment where I begin my general advance. Carefully, though. forward with these 
these fellas. Get my general involved. Ideally, I want these Hindu musketeers out on the extreme blank. Melee infantry to give them back up. My mobile units covering them on the flank. Yeah, there we go. We chased them off. So my pikemen are going to lead the way into the town. Send in my skirmish cavalry to deal with those Delhi horsemen. As you men can form up on the right flank. Fill in the gap with Islamic swordsmen. So we're going to push in and begin to push them out of the town. Guns a very good range. Bombard camels. I always like shooting at camels as far as targets go. And then swordsmen charging. Provide a bit of support. And they've, they've not done any fighting yet. Oh, there we go. Delhi horsemen might actually get destroyed. Uh, one's one is sufficiently far away. Run these units into position because you got some melee troops we can engage. My left flank is still being formed. go. Engaging these poor depleted skirmish troops. Let's get these Hindu musketeers to run in case the enemy attempts to exploit the gap in our line. These camel gunners might be up to no good. Charging ready. Form square. Same with you. Islamic swordsmen can counter charge the Bashi Bazooks. My brave fellows will win. Deploy my pikemen in towards this block of men here. Pull my dervishes across. Counter charge my Islamic swordsmen. I'm not a massive fan of where these Mamelukes have got to. Let's form up and begin to push into the town. Cavalry stay rather wide. Push the camel into the centre. Infantry form the squares again. Constant cannon fires just whittering, whittling down the enemy troops. There we go, my pokemon will make short work of these Mamelukes. Yep, there they go. Push in against the Kurdish hillmen. New men advance, because you've got a significant block of Ottoman troops there that can do with some withering fire. Although they are already skirmishers. One unit of skirmishers, one unit of melee troops. Get 
my cavalry right up on the flank with the general in support. These chaps aren't going to know what hit them. Oh, close. Oh, cannon fire. Doing some good work. Push my men into the town. Engage the enemy skirmish cavalry. Oh no, you poor souls. Will the 19th make ready in time? Oh, they're not all fully reloaded. You camels were shot down. Shut. Girting the edge of my cannon's range, but not far enough. My camels will provide the bonus here, but my my own skirmish cavalry are very experienced now, so they are just better than the enemy. Charge the hand mortars before they do too much damage. You push through and attack the hillmen. You men charge the grenadiers. You get around the flank, get my camels in. Run an infantry unit through to attack the artillery. Just wanted to get in close to the hand mortars, even though my infantry isn't necessarily brilliant, it might be enough. If you can shatter those janissaries, good. These skirmishers looked around the corner and suddenly saw a load of angry Hindu musketeers charging in. Excellent. Really didn't finish off this manoeuvre. Hindu Muscatini, the 26th, they are very experienced. You men go after the gunners because they are the, the best unit to send. We push on into the Azar. Skirmishes at the ready. Hindu Musketeers in with my Islamic swordsmen. You're going after the artillery, so that'll be them dealt with. Good, it is just the Azar left. How about Jewel? Excellent. Eh, it said it was a close victory. I don't think that was particularly close. It was a good battle, though. There we go. We lost one and a half thousand men. They lost. Four, nearly four and a half thousand men and my biggest killers were my Hindu musketeers followed up by my Islamic swordsmen nice so you routed the good direction excellent so let's start trying to fix some of these buildings I don't necessarily care about you guys replenishing super quick I was pressing the wrong key there we go so you can go north to deal with these guys in case they try and decide to run this direction. You men push up. You're going to hold here, see if you can draw any more of these forces into open battle. While this force pushes around from the south. Excellent. Uh, this agent can go on a long walk to Tripoli. This agent could go on an even longer walk to Tunis because we are going to want to push a lot across the North African frontier. We're not going to push too aggressively by sea because there's no rush. We want to focus on getting ready for this war here. In which case, you know, attacking the North Africa will be useful because we can choose 
options like to invade in Naples and push up the Italian front, uh, the Italian peninsula. But we are going to want to make sure we are constantly reinforcing those armies. So in the south, you're nearly done. You're still recruiting. We've got a couple of good navies to protect ourselves. We've got some good trade fleets being built. Good. So we're, in, we're up for 71,000 gold next turn, which is pretty cool. Just want to make sure you're not a plus five guy to replace my America's uh, agent. My America's minister, rather, not agent. Yeah, you've pushed away the Dutch. So you're currently in a holding pattern. Mr. Dil or Dilip. So you're in a holding pattern for now. You're trying to wrestle back control of the territory of Cayenne because the people don't like us. Yeah, but America's, the Americas is very much a secondary uh, field for us right now. Well, it depends, I suppose. If we can destroy the Ottomans and get enough of a pause to allow us to re rest, rearm, and regroup. Because we have quite a significant... Mm, no. The, ter the territory swap is fascinating, so I don't necessarily... I'm not sure I'm that bothered about holding Georgia for now. It's clear Spain wants it, but what that does mean is that if Spain wants it, they'll go to war with us. And that will open up all their other territories. Yeah, see, they've decided to push. I'm not overly concerned by these fragments of Ottoman troops running around our rear areas, because we are in within spitting distance, effectively, of destroying their entire faction. I have troops coming up from the southeast that can deal with them. I'm not going to divert frontline forces to deal with those raiders in the rear. <laughs> right. Improved coppering research. Good. You've gone to top gallants. No, don't do that. You may get on with. Ooh, yeesh. Lots of these tanks take a long time. Maybe preserved foods. Let's get that bonus to morale and battles. Fleet arrives. Good stuff. So you're going to take position on the trade node. Good. Construction report. Okay, good amount of farmland. There's a limit to what we can upgrade. Keep our military uh, infrastructure up to the max. max out everything because we will when we get steam engines uh, we are going to run out of money fast because they are like upgrading global trading companies and that they suck up your money real fast good 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 basic roads upgrade you there you go that's your sloop to occupy the port You're ready to be moved, or able to be moved. They'll hate us. But I wonder how many of these garrison troops I can pull out of Aramaribo and keep you happy. So when these guys are regrouped, they may be able to deploy to Georgia, ready for Spain to kick off. Okay, don't get on to recruitment yet, because you see some good stuff. I want to keep... Persian manufacturing capability growing. Our agents are still going, doing good stuff, but on recruitment side, 64 pounder great gun. Excellent. So this force here, with heavy cavalry and great guns, is going to be routed to face off against the likes of the Prussians. Let's get this sloop out of the way, so they don't crash into each other. And you men occupy Mangalore. You chaps disembark. 
It's going to take them a few turns to get in position. Just push straight up towards uh, Turkey. You men push up. Let's see if we can bait those troops to do something. Apart from that, uh, this army here. You could do with some different. Ah, uh, just mortars just aren't any good. I don't know, maybe I should give them a go again. Rage 500, accuracy 10. It's under, got a bit of firepower, the difference is. Yeah, large. Okay, let's try it. One mortar plus get an infantry mercenary unit just to add a bit of spice. Good. Almost immediately, use a peasant. Almost immediately start on Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, Pahi, Ayadi, one great gun, two 24 pounders, mortars. Let's get Hindu, Musket Hindu Warrior, Gurkhas, Islamic Swordsman. Good. Immediately start building the next unit because we're going to need a lot of troops. You should have orders to keep on wandering up to Cherkask. You do. Good. Upgrade the dockyard to a dry dock. Destroy this chap. And then a Limassol. It's going to take you four turns to upgrade. So let's get four turns worth of ship recruitment out of it. You men can abandon your pursuit. Instead, head south. Let's finish repairing the military academy. Finish replenishing this army. Good. That's two fresh armies to push on Jerusalem. Then this army will be replenished. They can then drive to take Cairo. And that would be the end of the Ottomans. You men keep driving around from the flank. Keep tempt keep pushing forward just to tempt them to send an army out to intercept us they might not do it but yeah this is the concern in future because look they've got they got loads of troops i'm gonna need every town i'm gonna take i need to fortify the heck out of it okay good from an economy perspective i'm feeling fairly okay the land route these goods are being transported over is being raided. Are you raiding? Oh, no idea where that is. You could try and kill the general. Maybe. My agents are still pushing up to the front lines. And I'm happy to give my agents these long walk exercises because I'm not uber bothered about microing all my ships to match up with them i don't think i can fortify georgia either which is a bit unfortunate Ooh, that'll be part of the game uh, get our agents over to islam to istanbul not islamabad and make sure our prophets are still spreading the word of islam they are aware that something's up they're pulling back all their troops Uh, yes, we will intercept you. <laughs> it cost us a lot of men, but at least you're now dealt with. Russia's invading. Oh no, the Russia's Stockholm's Russian territory. Okay, okay, okay. When I push into Europe, I'm going to want to build forts everywhere. I'm going to want to try and engage the enemy in forts rather than on the open field. 
to raid the port just to break their stop them from recruiting ships for now. Take the high ground to the west. Oh. We're only at war with the Papi states. How about you? So friendly, friendly, friendly. The only enemy one is this Dutch one. What have we got? Oh, tiny fleet. Tiny little fleet with no ships you want to actually capture. So you take position over to India. You are a trade fleet ready to sail over to West Africa. And we also want to send full health force over to meet them. To, well, to, re to replace their position on station. There we go. They've got a lot of towns right now that are sat on the highest level. So I'm pretty sure Georgia, yeah, no fortifications allowed, so move a sloop out. Because generally fighting it's easier. Well, you need to kind of do it with no one inside the port, otherwise all of your ships become required for transporting the fleet. The army, rather, and you don't necessarily want that. So you men get up there and occupy Savannah. I suppose it might be possible. See, I wonder if that would be possible, if I put a thought. I think they, the only way they'd be able to attack it is from directly down this road from Charleston. So you have to wonder if it's even worth doing. And the answer is probably no. Because we're only fighting Spanish colonial troops. Just a bit of an exercise to wonder, to say, could you build a... In a situation where your fort, your city doesn't have any fortifications, could you put a ring of smaller forts around it? Might be an interesting idea, actually, if you want to dig in. Yeah, you're getting your infantry infantry sent over. It's you men done. You're going to want to get over to Mangalore. And Esfahan. We're going to need to start sending up resupply columns like this a com small combined arms force that can just push up to the front line and provide ready reserves you were meant to do this a while ago you were meant to reinforce the garrison well not reinforce replace the garrison at Yerevan because then we've got one full strength army to respond to any attacks on these cities plus reinforcements from Baghdad and Esfahan when required You men seize Jerusalem. Let's bring you down in support. Upgrade the roads, upgrade you to a trade port, recruit. Yeah, recruiting another sloop. You're building ships. Good, okay. Let's attack a uh, Ottoman city which is fairly well defended going to be interesting to do how we're going to do this one pretty much i'm going to blow holes in multiple areas force them to spread out their fire and take the city at once if we lose a lot of men then we will and we will replace them from local recruits it's another step on the road to victory okay i like attacking from this side So eastern walls are built really badly. They fall real quick. So 
Officer will be able to make quite a number of breaches. Overflow them with troops. That's the plan. So all of you get to work on knocking down one corner section. Guns are fired. But let's see if they actually hit what I want to aim at. They have 10% already. See if they could get another shot off real quick. They'll kill a bunch of men trying to transit the walls. Be careful if they want to try and conduct spoiling attacks. Come on, fire. Good, 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 good. 45, come on, a little bit more. Good chunk, but it looks like they can still kind of transit. Okay, right. Gun ceasefire, man. Set up defensive positions. Cavalry meant to help counter. Camel nomads, camel nomads, mamelukes, garrison swordsmen. I mean, it looks like they want to make a go of it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have made them fire. <laughs> well, I wanted to keep bombarding. I didn't want to give them an out. And I want to get my Gurkhas behind my guardsmen. We'll teach them to spoil our attack. Gotta watch if the... Enemy try to pull us in. Okay. Get some shots off. Keep bombarding. To be honest, it's kind of fair play from the AI here. I'm not quite sure how they want to use them, but my Sapahi want to hit those Mamelukes. Uh, no, they don't, apparently. And now they do. Armoured Cavalry versus Light Cavalry. Not a great charge. There you go, the massed fire deals with the Camel Gunners. It's probably actually doing... well, they, they are. I suppose they are Lance Cavalry. Back him up, Hindu warriors. The question is, are you actually firing or are you firing short? Because that's the thing they do. No, they will hit my men. Okay. Let them fire off these last shots first. Send my Sipahi forward. Redeploy my infantry in line with my guns because it appears that that's where they start to struggle. Better run, Gurkhas. So that's 
one section of the wall destroyed. Let's just destroy another section. There we go, that's that. Uh, that's that artillery unit destroyed. So it does it is bring in more infantry based reinforcements, but I don't think we need to worry about the likes of that. But yeah, I want to make four breaches, all the walls. The attack from every point, go through every breach, climb every wall and just surround them. They won't be able to withstand all of our fire. So the mortars are still firing, but again, are they... Because they do like... They do keep firing, even if they're just out of range. And all the shots will land kind of in front of you. Not all my guns are firing though. Let's speed up time because all I'm doing is making breaches. Spread these men out because they're the focus of the enemy gunnery. Yeah, they're firing short. 63%. If we keep going, we will destroy this Royal Colour Infantry Guard unit because it looks like it might be stuck. There it goes. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my mistake. It's not the biggest fort, so that's why it can't do everything very well. You can't do... Will you actually... So, apparently, I have seen things aim at the... The gate. But did you fire at the gate, or did you fire at... Just slam shells in the centre? Because when we push him, we need to run. I'm curious to see what you guys will do. Because I've now sent you to... Made you attack the centre. Usually, if they haven't got a direct line of fire... Nah, they just don't do anything. So you could attack that unit. Both of you could, actually. Ooh, good hit. It bounced right down their line. But now is the time. They don't have the massive... They don't have loads of howitzers they can shoot at us, which is something at least. Quite biased in one direction than the other. Advance my cavalry to soak up some of their fire. Get some good hits here. But yeah, I want to capture all the walls, really thin them out. Potentially capture the central gatehouse. We can also pour in through here. That might be a team. That might they actually be a role for my Gurkhas and my Indian infantry guards. Cease fire the guns while my Gurkhas pass. Yeah, they're. Mortars are going after my Sipahi. Yeah, in comes more melee reinforcements. Sekban Janissary is on the wall. That's why I want to use my advance, my superiority over here to garrison some of these walls. Fire down into the central courtyard. To be honest, the guns withdraw. You are no longer needed for this fight. My men are going to advance while walking to maintain their stamina. 
in the safe knowledge that this armoured cavalry is absorbing the mortifier. My, mort my armoured cavalry going after these skirmishes. Artillery, there you go. So you have to give them withdraw for them to limber up, then a withdraw to actually withdraw. The edge of the map is only there. go. These men are spoken for. It's not impossible to actually deploy... Okay, right. Now might be the time to start running. Deploy some Hindu musketeers out here just to pour fire onto the breach. Actually, my these Hindu warriors might take take the gate. My melee troops are going to be up front to push in through the breach. There we go. It's the Fellaheen dealt with. Carcass shot coming in. My heavy cavalry is going to intercept the Fellaheen. So you men may be able to engage some of these troops that are currently exposed. Ooh, not quite. Poor fire. Islamic swordsmen give them the order to advance in. You men secure the gate. Looks like we are enticing some men out. Get my general in the centre. Elephants on the right flank. Push the Hindu warriors against the general's bodyguard. This is classic AI. I want them to scale the wall, but they've gone, yeah, but why do that when there's a hole right here? You men fall upon that skirmish unit entirely. Deploy the Gurkhas, it's not going to matter. You men secure one of the stretches of wall. Other than that, though. Get in here, elephants. Get in here. You want to gang me up on the general's bodyguard. The Royal Indian Infantry Guard are ganging up on the Azar. It's enemy general defeated. You men push in. Start making waves. Hindu musketeers are charging. Or the Hindu warriors, sorry, are charging. There we go. Elephants charge in. So got to bear in mind, we are defending a city, so they will hold their ground quite well. Cavalry pushing in. It's unfortunate, really, that we've got so many men being bogged down by a unit of Islamic swordsmen. But there we go. Keep pushing in this breach. You men are going to secure one of the walls. 
breach has been secured. So this unit of Sapahi get in through the center. These guys should, because they aren't inside the walls, break. So you men focus on the Janissaries. You men try push through. Elephants are going to town. Got some more war elephants coming in. So even though the gates are... Oh no, these gates are. Oh, those particular gates aren't ours. Okay, right. Actually, you guys, these guys are about to rout. All of you men, storm in. When this general's bodyguard get over here, fire it will off. This general's bodyguard get over here, fire it will off. Because we need to push in. Got more war elephants coming in. Sect band Janissaries are ahead of us. Push on, don't get bogged down. Do not stop. You can never stop. Keep the wave going. Some more war elephants coming in. They're gonna go head this way towards this combat. You men are going to try and get off of the walls to help engage. There we go. The elephants are charging into the rear of this combat. Excellent. Get to it, good sirs. You men engage. Kurdish hillmen to the rear. Dervishes, dervishes push on into the camel nomads. General's bodyguard get in here. My soaring elephants are doing good work. It's too bad that a bunch of me is kind of stuck on the wall there. These men are going to cut through the Kurdish hillmen. Islamic swordsmen charge the camel nomads. Charge! Okay, now my general can get involved. It's a bit safer. I don't like the elephants, no sir. No, my general! Charge the gun crew! Charge the gun crew that killed those killed your commander! Charge the guns! These war elephants are. Dude, they're doing a good job. Then again, they should. Fucking men side to side gurkins isn't everyone alike. Probably not the best thing to do, just to chuck him into a combat like that, but whatever. Yeah, my Kizobashi will carve their way through these hillmen. Then they will join the engagement in the center. Reinforcements have the orders to run right at the back. This general's bodyguard unit is going to secure the center in the name of their fallen commander. Charge the enemy. I was hoping to do more stuff like this, of running down the walls and 
picking pe picking off rear units and securing better access, but uh, this this works too, I think. Kill enemy commander. You men work on that last mortarman. Although I, it feels like he's probably glitched. He's popped his pistol off. Doesn't want to engage. There we go. They're breaking. They've broken. Huzzah! Cost us a, a lot of brave Ottoman troops. But the battle is ours. The organ guns didn't even get a look in. Oh, they did. They deployed. Nice. So that's Jerusalem taken as well. That's 2,900 men. But that's why you deploy 9,000 of them. Huzzah. Yeah, you don't like us. That's to be expected. But I'm hoping... Once I've repaired a lot of your stuff, you won't mind so much. Minus four. Clamour for a form. You have a school. Not anymore. So this army has barely been touched. They get the order. Oh. Because they're not because they can't pathfind their way around. It's going to take them a few turns. And then I, I'm just intrigued to see what happens with the army around uh, Georgia. Hey, is that Russian? It is. Upper Louisiana is now Russian. Did they give away Russian territory? No, they didn't. They must have just bought it. Huh. Okay. So then these ports, even though they're not necessarily super duper ports still recruit some ships okay everything's been done let's hit enter turn to see what happens if nothing happens we will attack Ankara and that will be well I'll do all my building work first then I will attack Ankara I missed a missed a uh, manufacturing building in in, uh, in the Caucasus somewhere Yeah, United Provinces are making ready, but they're not going to expect forces attacking southern Italy, are they? Oh, Spain's getting ready. And the Prussians are going to be really difficult. But this is part of the reason why I've been so obsessed with my um, economy in India, because trying to get through that is going to be really terrible. That's what. That's the kind of thing I was hoping to happen. Um, so we will defeat the garrison of Ankara. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.